Hi everybody, in the previous video I've showed you uh, my botnet and today I'm going to talk to you about the same botnet but I'm going to show you what I've done so far, what I've added so far, okay? Because I've added some functions, some method like um, displaying the help menu, like displaying the current sessions, the blocked sessions and get the victim information like the location of the victim so on and so forth okay so let's um, i'm running here the botnet as always and i have some uh, other machines like the local machine and a ubuntu machine here which has an ip address of 0.6 here as you can see here and the kali linux which has another ip address which is 7 okay so let's basically um go ahead and do python backdoor connect from our kali linux to our victim machine on port 4444 and basically let's first navigate into the desktop the appropriate backdoor is, is exists on the desktop and as you can see here new session opened with this particular ip address on this particular port okay the current id is zero okay so now if we print pwd or um we cut um etc os os um release as you can see here we are communicating with kali no linux okay so let's clear and as you can see here um i'm i'm gonna jump to the ubuntu server and let's backdoor uh python backdoor the ip address of the the attacker 45 45 and now we have another id which is id number one which has been blocked okay so now if we type in id the current id is zero we see communicating with client zero which is color linux and now if we type in the command sessions the block session is zero okay if we type in our host as you can see here we're communicating with this ip address on port um, blah 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 okay so let's displaying the help okay so this is the help so the program i named the program as crazy handler this is the author, author name the version and some information about the program so these are the um, the available commands on the botnet. So as you can see here, we can get um, a, a victim jump to the victim using a given ID. We can um, displaying the sessions, uh, displaying information about the victim, so on and so forth. And basically, let's go ahead and connect from the local machine. But in this time, I'm going to connect um, from the public IP address using the public IP address as you can see here client ID has been blocked and now we are communicating with a or we, we've got a connection from uh, a public IP address as you can see here so now if we type in sessions as you can see here client 1 and 2 are blocked and the current ID is 0 and if we get for example 1 now the current ID is um, 1 but if we type in sessions this the blocked sessions are two and zero okay so this is flexible guys as you can see here so now if we for example um cut etc os release as you can see here we're coming we are communicating with ubuntu server or with uh ubuntu server yes and now let's jump to id number two now if we type in sessions the blocked sessions are zero and one and the current id is two the um, actually, the, the, the very powerful commands here is the locate command, okay? If we type in locate, guys, as you can see here, the IP address is the public IP address, and it displays some information about the victim. So the victim, uh, the ISP of the victim is the internet service provider is Telecom Algeria, the country is Algeria, and the state or region is Batna, and this is the latitude and the longitude, which is great, isn't it? I know um, this is a self-compliment, comp guys, so... I'm not I'm, I'm kind of sh of show off so I'm sorry for that anyway so I hopefully you like this um, um, this particular um, small botnet I'm still working on it I'm gonna provide some uh, other functions some other features um, or some other commands uh, and I'll, I'll keep you posted okay so thank you for viewing this video see you next time